just do it. That's the motto, especially for folks who are helping out our community this holiday. We're so we're so blown away by the generosity of everyone who's just making sure that people have a Thanksgiving meal. That includes nonprofits. That includes Chiefs players like Chris Jones and Juwan Taylor. In fact, for over 30 years, several Chiefs legends have made it their goal and their mission to feed as many families as possible for Thanksgiving. That mission is helping churches, pantries, shelters, and more to feed those families today. So KSHB 41 News reporter Elise Schoenig shows us how the need in our community has gotten us this far. Organizations and foundations that have pre-registered can pull up right here and get their Thanksgiving dinner brought right to their car. This event is expected to feed thousands this Thanksgiving. It gets me really excited. We've been singing songs and stuff to keep ourselves going. These volunteers are packing more than meals this Thanksgiving. Just such a big community. Like, I, I love this place. I love Kansas City. Casey McCluskey and volunteers ranging from former Chiefs players to fans are rolling up their sleeves, packing baskets to feed nearly 2,000 families this Thanksgiving. This one is one that's very near and dear to my heart. Darian Thomas is helping the community by living out his late father, former Chiefs linebacker and pro football Hall of Famer Derek Thomas's dream. Went around the locker room and basically asked for donations. Um, got people to pitch in and then he'd go to um, then Carl Peterson and, and uh, Lamar Hunt and ask them to match their, match their donation. Rising prices mean they need all the help they can get from Chiefs Kingdom to feed the community. It's just great to, to know that this community that we've been such a part of for so many years continues to do some amazing incredible things that comes together to support our community in need. So while these volunteers are packing meals, they're also packing family. Something that's that's still going, you know, 20 years after he passed away. I'm proud of it, so I, I can only imagine that he'd be just as proud. Elise Schoenig, KSHB 41 News.